Because uh, of the dimples? Yeah, the dimples. Each so dimple is kind of a little fractal? Yep, each dimple is like a little hexagon that makes a little hexagon that makes a little hexagon. It's kind of like a three-dimensional uh, dome, like those dome theaters that you see. Uh, and the leaf, that's definitely a fractal. Uh, the hand grenade, the way it's designed, they really have these little shapes that get smaller and smaller and smaller that are the same. Uh, the seashell, definitely that's fractal. Uh, the cork, there was a screw, and the screw uh, is a fractal, but, but more like the Pythagorean theorem, mm -hmm. with the radius getting smaller as it, as it, as it spirals just a little bit, but it wasn't like a, a screw that got a lot smaller. Uh, and then several other just nonsense things. Mm -hmm. Was it uncomfortable in there? Uh, no, it wasn't nearly as uncomfortable today. Yesterday was much more uncomfortable. Okay, I put something soft under my head. Is it easier to see fractals in things that are uniform and symmetric? Definitely. Yeah. Definitely. Things that are symmetric or things that have any type of spiraling uh, to them is really, really obvious. Did uh, you see? No matter how fast they flash them. Did you see anything that did not produce the image of a fractal? Um, everything looks somewhat, I mean, every shape is a fractal, no matter what it is, is a fractal, but some of them are just really obvious. Uh, mm. the, the facial expressions just I, I'm not sure what that was about, but maybe Does it was just to see how I recognize uh, facial expressions. Does, uh, like I would feel happy and then, ooh, and then sad. So ever since this whole thing happened, I feel this extra empathy. Mm. My body language just screams at me when somebody's upset. Mm. Or they're just a little bit anxious, or they feel a little bit sad, mm. or if they're happy, or a smile that's like this, mm. which is when they're not really being serious, but when a smile is like, that and their cheeks go up and their eyes go up with it, then that's a real smile when they're really happy and then I feel much better, I feel the happiness with them. Oh. Uh, so you get an emotional response but you don't see a face as a fractal. If it's moving, it's much easier to see those those slices. I mean, we could we could draw it as a fractal, for sure. I mean, every literally every shape is a fractal, or at least I can draw it as a fractal, so it, but uh, it's not nearly as obvious. No. How loud is the sound in there? Uh, the sound isn't too loud with, the, with these. And uh, the ear muffs on, it's not too bad. Um, it's kind of, I try not to picture it, but when I hear the, the noise from it, it's like a little wave going like this. You know, you can see a little wave, and the higher frequency it is, the closer these waves are together. And so the way that the sound of the MRI changes, you know, I automatically picture a wave, you know, in my head. Uh, and I'm trying not to, but, but, you know, it automatically does. And how long did you think you were in there? I thought I was in there maybe 20 minutes. It didn't seem like it was too long. It seemed like it was shorter than yesterday. And you saw lots of rub rubber ducks? Lots of rubber duckies. <laughs> the same rubber duck. The <laughs> <laughs> same one. Okay.